The Galaxy S10 5G is coming next week and I'll be telling you everything you need to know right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please don't forget to hit subscribe followed by the bell. So at the unpacked event in February, we had the S10 range launched, but of course one device was missing, the Galaxy S10 5G. According to Yonhap News, the Galaxy S10 5G is going to be launched in Korea next week on the 5th of April when they launch their commercial 5G networks. The 5G model is of course not just an S10 with 5G connectivity, but the top spec model of the whole S10 range. We're expecting a 6.7 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 3040 by 1440. This gives a screen to body ratio of 89.4% and a 502 pixels per inch density. The display will of course be protected by Gorilla Glass 6 and support HDR10+. It's going to be using the Snapdragon 855 system on chip in North America and the Exynos 9820 globally. It's going to come with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs storage and we get 4 cameras on the back. We get a 12 megapixel wide angle, a 12 megapixel telephoto, 16 megapixel ultra wide and a time of flight camera. On the front we've got a dual camera pill shaped cutout consisting of a 10 megapixel wide angle and a time of flight camera as well. The phone is powered by a huge 4,500 milliamp hour battery and of course supports wireless and reverse wireless charging and we also get a 25 watt fast charge using USB power delivery 3. The phone will be available in the prism white color variant and after the current success of the Galaxy S10 range we'll no doubt see the same with this 5G version. According to Yonhap News, the device will retail for about £990 or $1300. Now a few things to note about the release date and price of course is that these are reports from Yonhap News. They've not been confirmed by Samsung so this still leaves a possibility that there could be errors. We've also got no idea on release dates globally and it may coincide with the 5G availability in each country, but if this news is true however, it's great to see that the price may not be as much as the maxed out S10 Plus. While the S10 Plus does look great, I'm still going to be holding off for the Note 10 and I think it is going to be worth the wait. But as always, I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comments below. How many of you bought the S10 already? How many of you are waiting for the 5G model and who is like me and waiting patiently for the note? But thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.